Three conditions must be present to use a locking clip. An emergency locking retractor, a sliding latch plate, and a lap and shoulder belt that is all one piece of webbing. Let's review the steps to install a locking clip. While applying your weight on the seat with your arm, buckle and tighten the lap and shoulder seat belt. Pinch and hold the lap and shoulder belts together. Unbuckle the belt and place the locking clip no more than one inch away from the latch plate as noted in the car seat and vehicle owner's instruction manuals. Trying to put on or remove the locking clip while the seatbelt is fastened can hurt or pinch. It doesn't matter which way the locking clip is attached as long as all four prongs are visible. Now apply pressure on the seat and rebuckle the seatbelt. It may be hard to rebuckle because the lap part of the seatbelt, the part that goes through the car seat, is locked tight at a fixed length. Test the car seat to be certain it moves no more than one inch side to side or front to back when testing at the belt path. With practice, placing a locking clip on a lap and shoulder seat belt can be done in a few minutes. You can remove the locking clip by pinching the webbing in half so the locking clip falls off. 